Hello, this is a brief rundown on data source graphics stat bug football. I wanted to show a few features. Of course, it's got your general uh, score bug. But one thing it does that uh, a lot of other score bugs don't do is show you stats as well. So you can have rushing stats. Um, you can have uh, passing stats, reception, and defense. Well, that's just some of the features. They've got uh, stats for rushing game and season, passing game and season. Um, you know, it can show that uh, teams offensive production for the game or for the season as well you could do that with either team you can also have custom text say what you want but that's just the beginning another thing that we've got implemented with the stat bug our passing matchup game or season rushing matchups game or season offensive matchups game or season and defensive matchup we can also insert stats for any player that has stats in the system as you can see we've also got some sponsor integration uh, implemented as well So let's stop this. The one, the last thing I want to show you is the starting lineups. We've got offense, team one, defense, team one. Offense team two and defense team two. Again, you can see the sponsor integrated, and we can either use in VMix's multi tool we can insert that in, have a stat line. <clears throat> So let's get to where all this information comes from. You're looking at a Google Sheet. This is the uh, the the game tab that basically someone will control basically everything I just showed you. Um, you can also use the Google Sheets app to change the scoreboard so let's say that team one kicks a field goal As you can see it updates on both the sheet and the score bug and any mobile device that can get the Google sheets app and has a link would be able to update that for you anywhere in the world we can also look here at we want to go to the play-by-play -play. just to kind of show you how this is entered this again can be entered from a mobile device you have somebody in the stands keeping up with the stats and we try to simplify it 
team one their prefix is for their p code is always going to be one so if they're number 34 on the and they're on team one they're number 134 if they're number 34 and they're on team two then they're 234 we use that to keep a simple sheet going here if you've got a Russian player a player that rushes and he runs the ball you put his number here his P code and how many yards he rushes move over to the red and the defensive player that makes the tackle is entered there if it makes an interception or a sack you enter that passing is about the same you enter the pass and this player the, the player that passed the ball is number here how many yards he passed for and who is the uh, who caught the ball <clears throat> if a touchdown is involved you'll enter the player um, that scored the touchdown <clears throat> if it's a pass play you'll enter the quarterback that information is translated into information that you can see here on the game sheet right here you will see the last passer last rusher last receiver and last defensive player these are the people that performed last in the game and their information will be what is reflected in this center area right here so if we're going to look at a russian stat Chris Walker was the last person to run the ball so his information will be put up automatically you decide who you're going to use by clicking the information in the box that you want to use we come over here where the pass matchup is <clears throat> This past matchup season is a good thing to kind of uh, do during the pregame. Oops, I've got to turn the thing on here. And as the game goes on, you can change that to the game stats. For offense for the pass the rush the offense and the defense <clears throat> and you can use this for game or season Depending on which of these buttons you click and this is where we control the featured player let's say instead of 134 we wanted to feature player number five for team two we want to show his game stats we click on the game button and there you go you can see he's three for three today for 55 yards not bad we can click on the season stats and see what he's done this year one thing that I forgot to one thing that I also wanted to mention is that along with the score bug we also have a couple of features so when there's a flag thrown you can indicate that first down or even a touchdown <clears throat> we also have a lower third that is updated along with the custom text
and again you can use the custom text in the same way.